right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, next gen. A lot of controversy out there. Mike Long spoken out. We got my boy NBA 2K Toots back. I mean, he's backing up what my boy NBA 2K Toots said. If you haven't subscribed to 2K Toots, that's one of the foremost channels that you need to be subscribed to. He tried to get to 100K by the end of the year. I told y'all he was going to be a star from the beginning. Make sure you go over there and check out his videos on interior defense and all this stuff, man. And hit the like button on those joints. It's important that you hit the like button because the like button is directly connected to the algorithm that gets the videos out. So if y'all don't hit the like button, a lot of times... People don't even know that we put out videos. So make sure y'all do that stuff, man. Uh, Puma Mania is out there. It's a little bit of a disaster right now. We're going to talk about that. And uh, last but not least, I'm exposing the cap artists in the community. So make sure y'all do that. If y'all do nothing else, like the video, and I'm going to holler at y'all in one second. To C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. First off, man, when I'm talking about Puma Mania, it's a little bit of a disaster, bro. This is what I'm talking about. You got people loading into just completely blank parks. I'm out here in a completely blank park, and I'm sitting here thinking, like, this is my first experience with it this morning. So I'm getting ready to go to do the daily spin. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to go and do the daily spin. So I'm just going to hop on my little skateboard and ride there and just and just do what I got to do. Now, a remedy might be if you get into one of these parts that's like this, go to server, uh, switch station or whatever and do what you got to do. But the whole point is people are getting kicked out of games over and over. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, you know, maybe I'm just in the park and everybody's going to load up around me or something like that in a second or, or just whatever. I really don't know what's going on. I get over here, try to get to the daily spin and, and check out what happens. I pull up off of the skateboard, three two, one, okay, maybe five, there we go, boom, and I'm kicked from the server, now I'm sitting here thinking that this is something that's just, that's just, you know, gonna happen to me or whatever like that, and then I go to watch my guy Brutus see him stream, man, and uh, look, he's sitting there chilling, having a good time, uh, you know, everything's hunky dory, maybe I should put that on the big screen, so y'all can see exactly what's happening, everything's hunky dory, he's just, he, and, and boom, what happened? What happened? What happened, man? He can't shut up, Alexa, Siri, or whoever it is. Just shut up. I ain't talking to you right now. Uh, okay, Google. But anyway, now he's done. He can't play the game. So in some regards, and then they say that the game's supposed to be smoother and less choppy and all this stuff, man. And from what I'm seeing, that is not the case. So we got an event. We got Puma Mania. The only way he's able to get up out of that is... He literally had the dashboard. So, I'm saying all that to say this, man. I had the dashboard and do the same thing. I even went to make sure that we didn't have any type of updates and all of that stuff, and it wasn't the case. There were no updates. There was nothing. So I just came, I went out, came back in, loaded back into the park, and then this time around, there's people around me, and I was able to do everything that I wanted to do, man. So you know, it is what it is. I don't, I don't understand what's going on with the whole Puma Mania thing, but 2K, like at this point, it really feels like, like all this, it's like at first my boy Rampage was like, I don't care about none of this stuff that's on the game. I just want to play basketball. And Reese was even the same way. Reese was like, I just want to play basketball. It's going to be lagging. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. I was like, Ramp, it's not going to be lagging. It's not going to be, it's going to be good because we've got more processing power in these boxes. They tailor made the city to the amount of processing power in these boxes. There's no way that they would exceed that or not know it because they had these dev kits for however long and they would, they, you would always underestimate instead of overestimate or whatever. Well, and they did it. They still screwed it up. I, I just don't understand it. I know what the problem is. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. I believe that everybody that plays 2K and that, that test the game out and all this stuff, man, I think everybody plays bro on broadcast. There's no way that anybody played this joint on the 2K cam and didn't realize that it has to be that everybody plays on broadcast. That's got to be it. That's the only thing, because if you play on broadcast, you don't notice any chop, you don't notice any anything, and that's because you got a stagnant background, and if you know how video compression and, and scene changes and all this stuff works, you know that if you got a stagnant background, then you have a high frame rate, because that's how it works. The, the video compression software or the, or the, the compression of uh, the chip is only going to change what changes in the scene. 
So it just keeps changing what changes in the scene. And uh, and that's what we see. So not much is changing when you're on broadcast or the real cam. You're just going back and forth. And that's good. One thing that they could do, man, is I feel like the shadows are really what's killing it. Back at, And I got to do a whole, that's, that's a whole different video. But I really think it's the shadows and stuff like that. Because if there's not that many people in the park and they're talking on the on the jumbotrons, it doesn't lag. But it, it, it'll start to, to be a little, little, little bit. But it really doesn't. But if, but the more people that get in the park is what makes it light. But you know, anyway, they gotta fix that, man. This is inexcusable. We 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 almost what we two weeks in. We a weekend. You know what? I'm gonna give them two weeks. Maybe they'll get it right. But if they don't, and people get keep getting kicked out of parks and stuff like this, bro, what are we what are we to do? Other than to crucify the game and just say it's just terrible. Now the game itself, I'm enjoying the game. Now, I think a lot of people got that wrong in the whole thing. You know when I was saying, I was like, bro. When, when 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 we asked for demigods, now y'all know y'all had to guard that stuff too. For of uh, the for the overwhelming majority of the community, this game is fun. It just is. I think the only people that are really complaining are the people that probably play twos because you can get beat by by they get one stop and then you got a chance to not get the ball back because they just drive drive to the rim over and over. But when you playing threes and when we playing wreck, bro, that stuff don't even matter. You get twos, we get threes. That's just how it goes. So I don't think I'm gonna have as much problem with the game. As, as everybody else and my dude can shoot and I don't miss it just is what it is but like I said I, I don't care about just getting dunked on and when I was talking about just getting dunked on the other day I was talking about the motion shift I don't care about the fact that the guy might have had better stats I might have got there late I'm talking about the fact that they said that you would no longer be getting caught in canned animations and I clearly was standing here and he just pushed me to the rim that's all I'm talking about but anyway man speaking of that up next man we got um my boy NBA 2K Toots, man, he put out a video, and I was talking about it. I really asked him to do it. This is part one of the video that he put out, right? And he's just talking about the fact that, um, he's talking about the fact that, uh, you know, we were talking about, what were we were talking about yesterday? We were talking about uh, contests and block rating. So Mike said the contest is tied to block rating for your interior. Um, and he said, and, and 2K2 did a test. He, he got a guy with a 99 block, and he got a guy with a 25 block. And the results, in my opinion, are negligible. That's what I, I mean. Look, look, look at this. Look at the results. You got to go to his video to really understand what he did. But 24%. They're going to miss 24%. And he's not jumping either. So, you know, whatever, whatever. But the whole point is that, like, like, ah, it just don't make no damn sense. It's not, it's not a big enough gap for me. I feel like, you know, it should be a, a, a huge gap rather than just a small gap. Yeah, you know, if you're, if you're, if you've, uh, you know, if you've got 99 defense and 25 defense, because if the, if the gap is only a 10% or so difference, 12% or so difference, then it's like it, it, whatever, man. And then like then like right here, we got the block challenge rating. You know, um, and he said he said, he did it with standing layup. He's gonna do it with a lot of stuff, man. It's about 20% right there, 25%. I mean, I I feel like that's better, but you know, it is what it is. Go check out the video. You gotta go check it out. And the next thing he's going to do is he's gonna do it with. Um, he's going to do it with the with uh, the perimeter defense to see if perimeter defense uh, the shot contest is tied to the block rate and also because you got a lot of cap artists in the community that love to just regurgitate what somebody else said. Well, 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 perimeter defense is tied to is tied to uh is, is tied to lateral quickness. That should be and and I would think that that, that block you should know that block strengthens your man. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm about to shut y'all up right now, man. Cause this is this is from the mouth of Mike Wong. Somebody tweet, and that's how you say his name. That the long A don't even exist in the chi in Chinese or Mandarin or whatever. Whatever. Look, it doesn't exist. It's Wong. Call somebody. Call somebody with the last name W A N G. That's serious about it. Call them Wang, and see what happens. Like you literally calling them a dick. That's what you're calling. Don't call them that. Call them Wong. They'll thank you. Trust me. But I, I, I I've got. Don't worry about it, man. But anyway, this is what Mike says. This was this is in NBA 2K20, August 27, 2019. A lot of people have asked about this. Since we removed the shot contest rating in NBA 2K20, we look at uh, we look at your interior or perimeter defense ratings depending on where the shot is taken. That's what he said. So that's the that was the case in last gen right in nba 2k20 that was the that was the case in nba 2k21 current gen i looked at i went back and looked at all these cap artist videos oh, it's always been like that oh, you never need an interior defense shut the fuck up shut the fuck up i went back
back and looked at these cap artists videos, guess what they putting in their bill? Interior defense. So there's no way that they just came to this conclusion that this will be changed in current gen independently. All of a sudden it don't matter, but it mattered last gen. And then your videos, you put it in your videos, but all of a sudden it don't matter this gen. I want to know where you got your information from. I want to know what your sources are because you didn't come to this and I, you damn right I quit because I was going to fail that drill. You didn't come to this conclusion just by yourselves, just independently. I feel like you had some insider information. I want to know what your sources are. That's what I want to know. I want to know how you knew that this was that this was the case because this was not common knowledge. I don't care what nobody says. This is the tweet right here. And until told otherwise, everybody thought that this was the same exact way. Interior defense was the shot contest inside. Perimeter defense are the shot contest on the perimeter. And now I believe that block rating is the only thing that governs shot contest. And my boy NBA 2K2 is either going to prove me right or prove me wrong. But I don't believe I'm wrong because that would definitely explain why guards are getting sprayed on the perimeter with 95 perimeter defense. It would also tell us why they allow people to have 95 perimeter defense. Everybody. How, that's why we was like, bro, who's going to score if everybody got 95 perimeter defense? People hitting 77% uh, cover shots, 100% smothers. They hitting all that stuff. I see other people out there with no perimeter defense getting getting super high contest. So it's got to be tied to block. But 2K2, he's going he gonna to let me know that in a second, man. But like I said, this is this, this is just for the cap artists out there. So if you were, if you were one of the ones, hey, it's always been like that. It, 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 interior defense never matters. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck! I wish I had hard eight times in here, man, to say this joint for me, man, because this right here just tell you how many cap artists that we got in the community. And then these are the people with the most views, y'all listen to them the most, and they got the most views on the videos and all that stuff. And they clearly just make up stuff on the fly just to say, you know, it is what it is. And then you see I get kicked out one more time as it goes, man. Like I said, man, great game. I'm not, I'm not tripping. I understand. I'm about to get up out of here. I, I just want people to know that I don't really say a whole lot of stuff without knowing what I'm talking about. I'm not one of these guys that wants to appear. Look, I got a computer engineering degree from the University of South Carolina. I was a certified genius at the age of, in the first grade? First grade, yeah, I had like, I was, I had IQ like 158 or some stupid shit like that when I was in the first grade. I literally was gifted my entire life in school. I don't have to fake be smart for these people and stuff like that. Like, this is my life for real. I'm really smart for real. I don't have to try to appear to be smart about some bullshit about a video game. This stuff is is, is menial. I just I'm, look. It just is what it is. Would I like to be up there and making the type of money they do? It? Yeah, you damn right. Everybody, that's the goal. Everybody want to be making some money. But I never get there because I tell the truth about this stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all, blow smoke up y'all ass all day, and then just try to get money off of making a billion bills, and then tell y'all something like I just came to some type of new revelation when they clearly had to have some insider information to come to this. Because in current gen, if you didn't have interior defense, you was getting banged on. Yes, yes, it did get strengthened by your block rating. It always has because if you put on block boost, you got. But but y'all understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody know this, man. In current gen, my guy had little to no interior defense. I think it was like 75 or something like that. And I was scared to death to come out there with my pure stretch because I knew I was going to get bullied. But I had strength and I had um, I had weight, so I was cool. But you telling me in 2K20 or in 2K, uh, in 2K21 current gen, you would have dreamed of having no interior defense on your player? And all of a sudden, now everybody's like, yeah, you don't even need interior defense. I just want to know, like, somebody clearly gave them that information. That didn't just come come out of nowhere, man. But it is what it is. It wouldn't be the first time that you that, that uh, the popular YouTubers got a leg up on something. No pun intended, because I'm doing this. If y'all want, um, if y'all want a video on how to how to beat all these drills and stuff, man, um, you know, something like that, and get all these stuff, just let me know, man, because I always get, I don't get four every time, but um. And they changed this right here, man. It used to be if you got it in under 10 seconds or so, you was good. And then I get it right at 10 on the head, and the only thing you get is four. Bro, people ain't even getting... I don't know, man. But anyway, that, that's cool. Look, I got my workout complete. 
boom, we here with it, and that's it. What it is. If y'all want the, the in-depth in tutorial on that, I'll walk you through it thing by thing. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all think them guys had some inter some some insider information? They clearly had to, because it ain't no damn way you just come to that conclusion yourself. Nobody told us anything, and then they changed it. But interior defense is still important because people will try to back you down and post hook you to death and just put you under the rim and then put you inside the rim. I'm still gonna rock it. My group still rocking it, but you know it is what it is. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Will you continue to use interior defense? Do you think they had uh, insider information? And uh, how's your Puma Mania experience? And is the park still choppy? And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Guys, speak.